Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, July 26, 2022. If you like to support the channel, hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. And also our new technical analysis of the cryptocurrency market is available on my Ethereum profile and our Patreon profile. And the link is also down below. So we'll start by looking at the WTI oil and we are still within this channel. And at this current stage, we are finding support at the 200 moving average. So we have tested it several times now. We have rallied roughly one point, uh, give or take 1.85% today and found support at the 200 moving average. So we could be seeing a continuation of this channel where we basically rally up towards the top and then break down or that we basically break out of this channel and head towards the 50 moving average. So that could be a possibility. Uh, at least technical indicators are all um, turning around and becoming bullish at this point. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish and uh, the MACD is on the line and about to become bullish as well. So question is whether or not we get rejected at this area here, roughly 99 to hundred dollars a barrel. If we do, then we may drop towards a 200 moving average. And if we break below there, then watch out below because then we will most likely test the very bottom of this channel. Breaking above here, then we are most likely going towards the 250 moving average of roughly $107 a barrel. So if we look at natural gas, this just starts to look, it's starting to look ridiculous. Um, this is probably the most uh, amazing um, recovery of any um, instrument I have ever seen. So we have an absolute beautiful V-shaped recovery here. We are trading at 8.637 at this current stage, and it doesn't look like any uh, that momentum is basically slowing down. We're just continuing rallying. We're up more than 5.39% today. And uh, last time we were also up roughly uh, 6%. So just continuation. So of course, this is uh, mainly due to the heat wave that is um, causing demand for natural gas as people needed to in order to cool down down their homes and, and factories and so on. So there is uh, more demand. But um, when that stops or temperatures basically come down, then this market should also come down. So at this current stage, uh, it looks like nine dollars is where we are going to head to. This is the nine dollars was an area where we had significant uh, resistant in the past we did break above it eventually although we almost went up towards ten dollars but in this area here it should be an area where we should struggle and if we fall apart and uh, weather conditions basically change significantly uh, then we may see this market really tumble to the downside but it's absolutely amazing uh, this recovery here this just fell off a cliff and then we just recovered the same way that we went down. If we take a look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is uh, bullish as well, and RSI is bullish as well, and we are on the edge of being overbought. So just keep that in mind. We are actually approaching um, 70 in the RSI, and that is overbought condition. So this is getting fairly overstretched. It's way outside of the Bollinger Band. So just some kind of bad news then this market really could tumble first um, if we were to tumble from here we can look at the fibonacci retracements if we say that this is the kind of the highs or nine is the high then 31 38.2 which is at 7.6 should be the first support barrier then we have 50 down here at 7.1 which should be the second and then 61.8 after that, this just plummets uh, to the downs all the way down to 200 and probably down to $4. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your job by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new.